Over time, I've learned that I tend to enjoy the more simple things. I want to walk across a bridge with a beautiful view of multicolored trees accentuated by rippling waters. And while all this sounds peaceful and serene, obviously life is everything but. They say money can't buy happiness, but honestly, I'm not falling for it. I wake up, I'm thinking about money, checking my accounts, I'm anxiously looking at my debt balances, wishing $10,000 would just drop from the sky so that I can get this phase over with. And if you're like me, you are feeling the squeeze. And when you're an adult that takes care of yourself financially, it's like one wrong move and everything can be taken away. throwing kids and the fear-mongering media, and any time you sit still to decompress, that familiar shame of not being quote-unquote productive starts to creep up again. And I feel like I've been on both sides of the track in a way. One side where I was in my winning season, I had over 30,000 in savings with a sizable spendable income each month. And I won't lie, I had once adopted the money can't buy happiness mentality, not because I had experience like this happiness without it, but because it just sounded like the more virtuous way to try to live. But every time I've been financially insecure, I've been unhappy. Yes, there were happy moments, but it's like they were quickly washed away with the stress of trying to afford life and maintain. Y'all, when I was in this winning season, I didn't wake up and go to bed thinking about money the way that I do now. I felt at peace because I was very stable for once. And call me crazy, but honestly, it was like money was falling into my lap and maybe it's because I wasn't so uptight. I was relaxed, so I was able to recognize the opportunities and things that I wouldn't have seen as an opportunity before. I was more in the moment and I was just happier. And the happiness isn't exactly from money, but it's 
what money allows you to do. It's the opportunities having money affords you. If you can't pay your bills or have just enough to pay your bills, yeah, be grateful. But chances are you're stressed about tomorrow and it's hard to find happiness when you can't afford to go to the doctor, when you can't afford to leave your house or leave the neighborhood you dislike or take your kids on a trip. The list literally goes on and on. And taking a nature walk isn't going to fix that. And I say that because when your mind isn't at rest, it doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing. It's just hard to enjoy the moment and be present. When you break it down, it's very privileged to say to someone, money doesn't buy happiness because it can buy health. It can buy you health. When you can afford to access more healthy whole foods, you know, when you can afford to get a gym membership or a personal trainer, you may start to feel a lot happier because health is wealth. It can also afford you better opportunities like paying off debts and paying your bills on time so that you can increase your credit score, which in turn gives you access to you know, better, safer areas. It allows you to leverage credit if that's your thing. Having money can buy you more time to spend with your loved ones versus working multiple jobs you may not even like. And it can afford you to follow your passion and interests or to finally find them because you can actually slow down. And all of these things tie into happiness. So yes, I have to have money to fully enjoy the things that money can't buy. And when you are delaying gratification, when you are paying off debt, you're saving all that good stuff, you are fighting back and regaining that peace of mind that leads to full enjoyment that we call happiness. And you do that one small financial win at a time. 